Hi guys, today on D with some Cook, I'm going to show you how to make these white chocolate raspberry cheesecake cookie bites. These things are everything. They are so good. So let's get started. All right, we're going to start by adding our all-purpose flour into a medium-sized bowl, followed by our salt, baking powder, baking soda, just sprinkle that right on in there. Now take your little whisk and whisk it around, get it nice and combined, and then set it aside. In a separate bowl, we're going to add our softened butter, okay, and then we're going to add in a little bit of cream cheese. All right, followed by some sugar, just regular white sugar, just like that. And now we're just gonna mix it up. We're gonna cream it so that it's nice and creamy and combined. That's perfect. Now we're gonna add in some vanilla extract. Then I have an egg here that is room temperature. And don't forget, you guys, you can find this recipe with all the instructions, the measurements, all that good stuff on my blog, thewisomecook.com, with a ton of other recipes. So go check that out. Then I'm just gonna mix this up to combine the eggs and the vanilla extract. Be sure to scrape down your bowl as you mix. And if you're enjoying this recipe, you guys, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I love all that stuff. Now I'm gonna add half the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Use my mixer. I just kind of mix it up and get it combined. And then I'll add in the other half of the dry ingredients. I'm gonna use my spatula this time because the dough should be getting nice and thick, just like a cookie dough. I love this dough. Perfect, just like that. That's how it should look when it's all mixed up. Now I have some white chocolate chips here, premium white chocolate chips. I'm just gonna crush them up because in these cookies, I like to have little small bits of chocolate chips because they're really tiny cookies, you know. If you can find mini um, white chocolate chips, oh my gosh, those would be perfect. But you can just crush them up like this. Go ahead and add this into your dough, okay? And now we're gonna add in our raspberries. I'm using these frozen raspberries. You can use strawberries, you can use blueberries, but raspberry and white chocolate, oh yeah. And just take your knife and just kind of press them and they crush really really easy when they're frozen just like that Okay you Now they're crushed up in little tiny bits make sure you use frozen fruit don't use thaw fruit because then it's gonna turn your batter Your dough like completely red when they're thawed out it bleeds a lot So That's perfect go ahead and mix in those raspberries and the white chocolate chips just like that now I'm using a mini ice cream scoop. I'm just going to scoop some out and then plop it right onto my baking sheet. I have lined with parchment paper. This dough is so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. I couldn't stop eating it. It is so freaking good. I know you shouldn't eat cookie dough, but we all do it. It's really good. All right, I have my oven preheated to 375. I'm going to bake it for 7 to 8 minutes and then let them sit in the pan for 2 minutes after they come out of the oven. And then go ahead and place them on a cooling sheet to cool off completely. Just like that. Aren't they pretty? We're not done yet though. We're going to add on some glaze. This is optional. This is a very simple glaze I'm using. So I'm going to add some, um, what is that? Cream cheese into a bowl followed by some powdered sugar and a little bit of milk. And that's it. Very easy, simple little glaze to put on top. Now I'm just going to mix this until it's really, really silky and creamy. You can add in some more milk just to get it, you know, thinner if you need to be thinner. I think I added in a little bit more milk. But yeah, that's perfect just like that. I have placed it into a sandwich bag. I'm going to snip off that end and then just drizzle on this um, glaze. Now it looks so cute with just two little lines, doesn't it? But y'all, I went crazy with this glaze. I just couldn't stop. I mean, I went crazy. Look at it. It looks a mess. I don't know. I was going through some emotions or something. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, now you want to place these on a baking sheet and then pop them into the freezer they need to set for at least three hours to get that yummy cookie slash cheesecake texture like that. That's the texture you want and it is so good. Oh my God. It's like the perfect cross between a cheesecake and a cookie. And these little things are so powerful. Like the, the flavor is like crazy insane. They're so good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Bye.